Hello my lovely Virgo, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings. I hope all of you are feeling magnificent. For those that are new to this channel, including cross watchers, a very, very warm welcome. I do encourage you to su subscribe, if I can say it, subscribe. If you do like this reading, that way you never ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every Friday. So Virgo, every Friday you get two readings, two different videos uploaded for you. So I, Fifi, primarily focus on your personal romantic love life, whereas Gigi uh, focuses on your career, your finances, your studies, home, family, friends, travel, and everything else in between. In fact, Virgo, if you have time today, in the next couple of days or you know on the weekend uh, do check out Gigi's reading it is in your dedicated playlist right now as I say this it is uploaded and it is live so Virgo let's get straight into this reading shall we let me clear the deck for today I'll be using the pulp girls tarot and I'll be clarifying with the light seers tarot now I didn't I was actually kind of guided from my spirit team to not put a topic or any heavy subtopic um, on this I have given my spirit team free reign on what they want the collective to know um, and when i do that in kind of pre-meditation i do connect with whoever is watching this with your spirit team as well what is it that they want you to know anything that they want you to know be aware of what's the heads up in your personal personal i said personal <laughs> i can't talk today in your personal romantic love life everything and anything that you should know for your highest good please and always for your absolute highest good. The cards are a little bit stuck there and I already heard the message that you're not going to be stuck anymore. All right, two more please. Feel free to fast forward if you like. Um, I try not to shuffle too much but I stop only when my spirit team tell me to. Just of course so we can get the correct cards uh, for you Virgo. Three more, two more, last one. All right, here we go. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, thoughts, feelings, movements, what's brewing that we can't see, but now we know. Oh, this is nice. We can put our shoulders down. Nah, that, no, that's why you're not going to be stuck anymore. You're moving on to calmer waters. Look how choppy the waters are there behind you. Now you're going into that lake of tranquility. This is Aquarius energy, um, but of course, your person can be any star sign, whoever you are walking away from, um, of course. Mm. Some challenges, lessons, loss that you've experienced, you've learned from that, even the big ones. Now, this really is supposed to be your spirit team, your spirit guide that's taking you into more calmer waters. Some of you may be traveling, could be for work, personal reasons, a holiday, just a break. Some of you may be feeling just a little bit mentally... I'm hearing the word exasperated, mentally exhausted. You just need some time by yourself, um, away from any chaos, away from any drama. That's what I'm picking up. I feel like there's whoever, the last relationship, or even if this was recent, there was a lot of chaos and drama here. And now it's like, it's quiet. Ooh, all right, let's see. What are you walking away from? Chaos and drama there we've got. This is a combination I absolutely want to see. This is very promising. This tower here is a Scorpio energy. It seems here that whether this disconnection, this breakup that you had, this could have been recent, could have been last month, last year, or even beyond. But when we think about it, it honestly feels like it just happened yesterday or today. This is a major disruption. Obviously something wasn't working though. Whether we were aware of it or not, or we didn't think it was much of a big deal, that tower came crashing down for a very specific reason. The foundation wasn't right. Not because of you. I think it's definitely something that your person did here. I feel like you were blindsided. The tower is a very quick, clean breakup basically, where you don't really have time to gather your thoughts or to even say, wait, what just happened? Now, you might have been the one that gave the tower to, to this person. So obviously put you know, the cards where it fits right in your life, but either way, it was still a tower for you and this person. Let's see. Four of Wands, wow, Aries energy. So for some of you, you were either in a very committed relationship. It felt like it was super committed. Some of you were either engaged or even married, might have been living together with this person or even talking about taking it to the next level, moving in together, planning for the future. 
this was a very deep connection. It's a soulmate connection, very intense. I think you got on very well with this person, but then something happened. The crack, you know, the cracks started to appear, especially toward the end. Now, on very some occasions, this can mean reconciliation, though. But I want to see where this goes before I add any more. There you are, the hermit, the wise sage, strictly ruled by Virgo. You have changed, Virgo. You know that. You've got a lot more wiser. That's the, as I said, it's the wise sage. You've really kind of retreated now. You've done a lot of soul searching. You've got no problem being on your own. You've learned some big spiritual lessons. And that's the best thing is that you carry that on. You take that with you for the rest of your life. So if you approach either it's a reconciliation or another relationship, you do so from a place of wisdom and experience. Someone is waiting to reach out to you. And I'm really hearing that this probably bothers you a little bit, but let's see. I think, you know, obviously your spirit team is always on the lookout for you and they want the best for you and they want to give you the heads up. We have the King of Cups, regardless of gender. Now, this is very strong Scorpio energy. It could be a Pisces and a Cancer. Your person here might want to reach out to you. I feel like they really do love you. I get it, funny way of showing it, but we do have that Three of Wands, Aries energy. They are delaying themselves. They could be overseas. They could be at a certain distance from you. They're delaying themselves because they don't feel right yet. It's like they're waiting for the right opportunity. And we do have progressive energy. We have the six. Sorry, six. <laughs> I'm hearing that maybe the six is a lucky number. Could be your birthday. But we have the three and the four. So we've got progressive energy moving forward. And we've got a number six here. But I feel like they're waiting for the right moment. Like perhaps they want to use your birthday as an excuse um, to reach out or the, until they feel a bit more confident or they're waiting for other things in their life to fall into place. Three of Wands, just like the World card, is a very good omen. It's like, if you want to be sure of something, yeah, this person is returning. But I don't know. That might rub you the wrong way, though. To walk away from a tower moment, that's pretty big. Um, let's talk about the current situation, the energy. Okay, hasn't been good. Five of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, so there could have been a lot of disagreements. A lot of, you know, clashes. You know, this is often linked to, you know, um, a lot of confrontation here. Um, arguments, tension, finger pointing as well, like that doggy dog world. It's actually really not nice. In fact, the Five of Wands is a very loud and noisy card, right? A lot of disruption, ruffling of feathers. There definitely couldn't have been a lot of people that actually tried to get involved in this relationship. So family, friends, or exes or children that thought they have they the privilege to actually be involved and start judging you and all that. So that that is actually not good. That's when your person really needed to put very strong boundaries around this connection. Let's talk about you. How do you feel about this person? Wow, Ten of Cups. That is Pisces energy. So there will be a reconciliation coming your way. And I, I hear that you're going to approach it slowly, if not very weary. I don't blame you. Um, I think that, you know, this person, you actually thought this was your happy ever after. And I think that's what makes it so tough you could say a bit more challenging is that you thought this was the one this was your happily ever after and again i'm picking up some of you are either very committed engaged married you know talking of moving in together or you know because that's the card of home as well so it just makes it a little bit more not impossible just a bit, a bit more complicated but there's always a solution to everything let's talk about um your person how do they view you right now as it stands Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. So they do want reconciliation. Um, this card, my favorite three though, it does come with a huge dose of emotional healing. Is that possible? That is their intention. It's opening up lines of communication once more. Um, even if they just start off as being your pal, your friend, your mate, um, obviously they do want to come back home. You feel like home. Oh, wow. As I say, you know, home is not really a place. It's a feeling, right? And you do feel like home. They may ask you out. It's a very fun card. What are they planning behind the scenes? It's the magician. Gemini and Virgo energy. There we go. According to your person, according to them, right? Um, they have all the tools on the table to make this work. This is like manifesting themselves back into your life and starting on a clean slate. This is what they want. They certainly do not want to embroil you anymore with any lies or manipulation here. Um, they don't want to argue. So they're definitely coming in with a white flag. They may invite you out to some social gatherings, birthdays, parties, engagements, weddings, baby announcements. They will be there, or at least they will be inviting you. So let's talk here about the beating heart of your reading. 
the high priestess, mm, she or he who already knows. So there's a lot here that both of you, I think both of you are at the moment a little bit of a mystery to each other. Your person is finding you a bit of a mystery. Um, you're keeping a lot to yourself. You know, that's what the hermit does, that wise sage. You know, we pull back our energy, we take back our power. So it's my quiet card. You pretty much don't have to do anything, um, Virgo. Um, it's she or he who already knows. So we've got some secrets, mysteries, sacred knowledge, important conversations are all going to be revealed to you because of your person. Hmm. Maybe there was a bit, I'm really picking up here with, you know, the magician, the high priestess, there was something amiss in this connection. Maybe your person was hiding something, not necessarily they were lying, but they didn't tell you the truth when the opportunity arose. Let me see. What else is happening with your person or what do they want? The moon. Pisces, Cancer energy. So this is about humility. It's about grace. It's about beauty. Um, but they are listening to their intuition. We've got highly intuitive cards right next to each other here as well. Your person has their own internal fears and anxieties about approaching you, but they're still going to push forward though, because they do want to talk to you. Emotions are running very high. In fact, when they think of you, or if they see a picture of you or someone mentions you, they do get emotionally triggered. Now for the life of them, they have tried to bury their feelings very deep down. That's not working though. For some of you, this might have been a secret romance. Either you were the third party, whether you were aware of it or not, or they had a third party, you know, whether you were aware of it or not. Sometimes this can mean a secret romance. I don't want to say the word affair. I just don't like um, saying that um, because, you know, our feelings, your feelings, Virgo, are real. They're valid and um, they deserve to be acknowledged. But I can see here that your person is like kind of there. How could I say? It's almost like they feel a little bit in the dark about you. It's almost like they don't know. It's like you're a stranger again. It's like, well, if I approach Virgo, how are they going to receive me? How are they going to perceive me? Now, let's talk about here our hopes, our wishes, but also our fears, especially with your person, because I feel like they can't figure you out anymore. I think enough time has passed where you've gone your separate ways and, you know, life happens, right? We change. Is the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Regardless of gender, we have this particular queen looking forward to the future. So it is your person's hopes and wishes that they want an open, honest conversation with you. In other words, they want to give you clarity. They want to tell you the truth of anything here that just didn't add up um, as well. But a fear is, what if Virgo has blocked me? What if they have no interest in talking to me? Blocked, see? Mm, they're afraid that they don't want to lead to a, uh, an argument here as well. In the near future, let's see how this is going to affect you. It's right in line with you, is the hanged man, more Pisces energy. Yeah, you're not really sure about this person. Because as I said, you have changed. You are seeing this person from different angles, perspectives in a new light. In fact, the person's head, even though they're hanging upside down, is illuminated here as well. Where you realize I are putting yourself first. You don't have to take every person back, right? I just think that you're not sure because everything is still suspended in the air. You know, there is lack of clarity. There's no moving forward or back here. So mm, it kind of feels like you're still a little bit in the dark. You're not giving this person a yes or a no. And the outcome, again, I think you're just a little bit quiet with this person. It's the Four of Swords, Libra energy. This is all about rest, recuperation, recovery here as well. You know, mending and healing the broken heart. So it's going to take a lot more um, for you to actually forgive and trust this person. It's going to take a lot more. Mm. Yeah, I can see this. I am, um, and I think this is what's you know creating a bit of nervousness a bit of anxiety from your person is that you're not really um giving them an answer because it's just going to take a lot more and i uh in a way i kind of agree with you here as well i do i mean you've tried really hard to move on from that tower that disaster that your person did there definitely might have been a third party as well with that you know we have the three of wands the three of cups that came out Two more, please. They should really approach you very cautiously. Um, there's the moon again, see? Um, because you may very well cut this person out um, like forever. So three more, two more, last one. Okay. It's going to take a lot. I just, I know it. It's just going to take a lot more than a conversation and inviting you out for you to forgive them. 
yes, you'll have a soft spot, but you're also quite analytical here. You don't ignore the red flags. Yeah, see, bottom of the deck is the king and the queen of swords now, see? Strong Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo energy, both leading in towards each other. There is a conversation that is coming up, though. Absolutely. Mm, you have history with this person there, see? Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, they... Uh, they want to work with you now. They want to be part of your team, Team Virgo, and hopefully crossing the fingers and toes that you'll be on their team as well. They want to work in unison. So obviously you were not on the same page or they were not on the same page here with you as well. Mm. Here they come. We've got the full Aries energy. It's the first card unnumbered of the um, Major Arcana innocence the purity once more can that ever be re-established that is completely now up to you i can see there's just a bit of a little bit indecisive energy here from you but um it's about brand new beginnings and i think your person knows this can swing either way but they're still going to bite the bullet they're going to take that risk and they will be taking action queen of wands the knight of wands all action cards and they also got the ten of cups with you because i think they're truly recognizing how major here they screwed up that you were the happily ever after now and forever and the four of cups cancer energy now they're a little bit in victim mentality mode woe is me um, and I think that they really needed a lot of growing up to do that knight of wands the second fastest moving knight Sagittarius Aries Leo is someone that can be quite impulsive as well it's, it's often known as Mr or Mrs right yes the knight in shining armor the queen of wands regardless of gender here they come to take that big bold action here towards you there's a lot of passion but um i think there's something that is quite unreliable about your person a bit impulsive they it's not always the player it's not fair to say that about the knight of wands but there's just something here that you can't put your finger on yet and it like that's why you're not saying yes or no the five of wands is clarified by the ace of wands Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this person may indeed fight to have a brand new passionate start with you. Aces are breakthroughs, new beginnings, despite opposition, despite people putting their foot down, kicking and screaming because perhaps they're jealous of you or your person. They don't want you to be happy. Your person, there's that energy that they would like to fight to have another chance with you. Let's talk about you. It's going to, I can see it. There's movement around you, the Knight of Cups. Hmm. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Now, I do see an apology coming your way. Is it genuine? Yes, absolutely. But that message hasn't arrived yet. We've got the note, the little letter there, um, sealed by a heart. It's closed. This is reconciliation. Out of all the nights, it's the most romantic night here as well. Mm, okay. Your priorities have changed. I can see this. I want to re-spark that romance with you. Let's talk about your person with that three of cups is the five of cups, Scorpio energy. So this is about a lot of emotional regret here. What they said to you, what they did, mm, what, what, you know, if only this, if only that, they're feeling embarrassed, guilty and ashamed. Perhaps I were being too secretive. Why was I so secretive? Why couldn't I just be honest with Virgo like Virgo is honest um, with the world? They're crying over spilt milk here. But they need to take action, which we're seeing here. The Magician, please, is clarified by the Eight of Cups. So this is what's happening behind the scenes. Pisces energy. Your person is actually walking away. They've outgrown people, situation, and events in their life. So the Eight walks towards the Nine of Cups, which is still Pisces energy, but it's your wish fulfillment. So they are actually to kind of manifest themselves back into your life. They do need to tie up all the loose ends. I see that they're walking away. Could be from a relationship or cutting ties or creating distance from family and friends. Another thing that they want to do, what they're planning is, well, yes, it is their desire to leave the past behind, but it's not going to be that easy. It, like I said, it's going to take more than, you know, beautiful flowers or a romantic night out or a conversation. The High Priestess is clarified by the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So in line... We have all some of the aces now, breakthroughs. There is clarity coming. So anything your person kept hidden that didn't make sense to you, that still doesn't make sense, um, lack of clarity, it is all coming towards you. So anything that was hidden, even with the moon, you're going to find out everything, including of what they've been doing, how they've been distancing themselves and walking away, breaking up relationships as well just to get to you. Okay. Well, I do like how, I, I like their intentions. I, I will say that. But can you always, you know, forever trust this person? That's the thing. Let's talk about the moon. 
Yeah, what do they want? They want this to work out. The Six of Wands, Leo Energy, the Minor Arcana for me of the Chariot. See, success always says it's going to happen. There's going to be some sort of victory, some success between the both of you, but it's not going to happen overnight. As opposed to the Chariot where it's almost instant success, overnight success, this is going to take time. They're going to have to be super patient and really work for it. The Queen of Swords, please, is clarified by the Two of Pentacles. Capricorn Energy choices decisions the yes the no positives the negatives what if this what if that yeah i think your person is a little bit scared that you are going to be you know one week you'll say yep let's get back together and then in two or three months you hit them with a towel moment saying i really don't want to be with you that's why it's important for your person to give you the clarity so then you kind of don't do a backflip on them um here as well and if your person here was juggling you and something or someone else yeah that was a very big mistake and some hard truths are going to come out here and i think you'll give your person some hard truths um too the hanged man is oh, clarified yet by judgment scorpio energy so it's the card of resurrection as we can see revival yep it's bringing something back to life it's asking you for a second chance now i do believe here that uh, you'll be making a judgment call you'll also have a bit of an epiphany here um, as well now i want to see we've got that four of swords and that is being clarified by the nine of wands sagittarius energy but i know my spirit team said that this is you still guarded aren't you apprehensive you've got reservations you still have a lot of questions as well you still want a lot of clarity but it's almost like okay i forgive you and all this we've spoken but just don't get too close it's only until you are ready mm. Like I said, it's going to take a lot of time, but that is the Wounded Warrior. The Wounded Warrior never, ever gives up, though. Yeah, because of that Ten of Swords, see? Gemini energy, loss, ending, separation, divorce. Let me split the deck. Queen of Swords. There it is again. Yeah. I'm seeing a very serious conversation coming up, but it's going to take a, a, a long time for you to... It's going to take a while. This is definitely not going to happen overnight. I want to talk about more of the ending. Where do you think um you're kind of more leaning towards you are seeing two more yeah one more thank you and the king of wands so you got the king and the queen of swords and now we've got the king and the queen of wands so let's see hmm Eight of Wands, there's lots of communication. It's the second fastest moving energy. Sagittarius energy, we've got the Strength card, Leo energy, unconditional love, and we've got the Moon. Again, Pisces, Cancer energy. So I feel here that you're going to make your person work for this. Not that you're punishing them. It's just that I think you really want your person to prove to you, not so much with words, but with action, that they are not going to waste your time. They're not going to hurt you again. This on, on its own, the Eight of Wands means a lot of communication. Cupid's arrow, love messages, but this is also movement. Like, it's very fast. It's like things are going to start picking up here. And the Strength card, yes, it speaks of unconditional love. And I do see that you will be holding back, but your emotions for this person runs very deep still. So this, even though I have to admit, it's like a bit of a slow moving process. I do feel it's going to start picking up here once both of you decide to come back together and work out your differences, though. And the strength card, of course, is very literal when it says going from strength to strength, literally leaving the past behind both of you together as a team. There's that five of wands. What's behind the five of wands? Seven of cups. Yeah, you're just a bit indecisive at the moment. And the emperor, whether to take action or not. I don't blame you, but I will say this. What I do like is that they're not coming back to hurt you again, waste your time to argue again. So I can see here that they know this is going to be up to you, but it will take time. And I feel like you're not revealing your emotions, your feelings, your love for them. I feel like you're going to be holding back. But in due time, because this is Cupid's arrow, love messages and it's movement, we're moving forward, it's changes. Um, yeah, I feel like things are going to start picking up. But if anything, they're going to have to fight for this, Virgo. And I feel like until you suss them out, until you get your clarity and all this, and then I think you're going to make that judgment call here to finally give this person one more chance, but on your terms. So take it as slowly as you need until you feel confident within yourself, Virgo. This is what I have for you. It's what your spirit team wanted you to know. Um, thank you for your time. Remember, you are always in control. So power to you. And I will see you in the next couple of days with a brand new reading, fresh new topic. 
um, and different set of cards. And thank you for joining me once more. Power to you. Bye.